friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'll put my usual video on the screen showing you how to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my almost daily uploads. If you're new around here, I upload about four to five times a week on this channel, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. We're gonna keep going with these brands that do not do well. For me, you guys seem to be enjoying these videos, so I'm going to keep doing them. But remember, the key thing is that these brands have not done well for moi in the past. They may do great for you because inevitably when I do these videos, someone always comments, Nikki, I can sell LuLaRoe and I get $200 million. And I'm like, good for you, girlfriend, because I can't give it away for free. So of course, you guys, I always say this, take these videos with a grain of salt. Just because I'm not able to sell these, hopefully I don't flash you in this video. Just because I'm not able to sell these brands don't, do, don't mean that you can't. What? Doesn't mean that you can't sell them. I'm sleep deprived, new mom life, I'm sorry. I will put photos of either the brand name here or the item that I couldn't sell. These are just, oh I should say, we are focusing on higher end brands. I'm doing air quotes because some of these brands I'm gonna mention, I know some of you are gonna be like, that's not really high end, but I feel like it could kind of be subjective, right? Maybe something that's high end to me may not be high end to you and vice versa. They're not affordable brands, let's just say that. Retail, these things, these brands usually are more expensive, okay? Let's start with a brand that I've really had trouble selling, Carl Lagerfeld. Now, I was just looking it up, and I guess, I think there's a diffusion line called Carl Lagerfeld Paris that's sold now at like Macy's, um, Saks Off Fifth. I didn't know that. I think that must be like a more affordable line. I'm specifically talking about the Carl Lagerfeld brand. I find it actually quite a bit here in LA, and I do find it new with tags a lot of times. I The most recent item was a white Carl Lagerfeld jacket, and it was uh, retailed for $180. I have had that thing for so long, you guys. I keep getting like the lowest lowball offers, and when I bought it, tisk tisk, I should know better than this. I've been reselling for 10 years. A lot of times when there's a brand that I don't sell a lot, I always look up comps, except this time I didn't look it up. If I would have checked comps, I would have seen that this jacket just maybe I would be lucky to get like 40 bucks. For some reason, Karl Lagerfeld, in my opinion, has not been selling, uh, reselling a lot. It doesn't tend to hold its uh, retail value on the resale market. Some of you DM'd me and said that you sell a lot of Karl Lagerfeld purses. I did actually sell a Karl Lagerfeld purse that I bought at Ross. Here's the thing, you can find a lot of this stuff, a Karl Lagerfeld at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, I found a Karl Lagerfeld purse. It was just a black basic purse that said Lagerfeld on it. I sent it to ThreadUp and it actually sold for $120 and I paid $20 for it at Ross. So that's a caveat and I will tell you caveats with some of these brands. I could never, never say never, but I don't think I could have sold that for that much on Poshmark or eBay. Cause a lot of the Karl Lagerfeld, like I said, that I currently have, I've had it for over a year. The comps just don't look that great. It doesn't sell super quick for me. Let me know if you have better luck down below. But that is one caveat. So maybe I should send that jacket to ThreadUp. Because a lot of the times, some of the stuff that ThreadUp sells, I could never get that price. The, like, for example, a brand we'll talk about later, Coach. Some of the pricing, some of the, the solds that um, ThreadUp can get for used Coach bags, I don't think I could do that. So that's one that I just, I don't know. Unless it's a super trendy piece, probably won't be picking up too much Karl Lagerfeld, but should be noted that I do find it quite a lot. Ooh, this is a really, I'm just scrolling through on Google. There's a really cute double-breasted white dress that retails for $3.45. I would wear that. Really cute stuff, in my opinion. Some of it, some of the stuff that I do find at the thrift stores is a little bit older. But I actually like, there's a really cute dress. This is Karl Lagerfeld Paris that's on sale at Bloomingdale's for 89 bucks. I'm thinking the Karl Lagerfeld Paris must be the diffusion line, but that's not the one I'm talking about. I'm specifically talking about just the one that doesn't have the Paris after it. But now that I'm looking at his website, it says karllagerfeldparis.com. I don't know. 
the ones, the, the more, the higher end expensive stuff, I can't move. And if I do, I get the lowest low ball off. All right, let's talk a little bit about Armani. Not just Armani. So Armani has a couple of lines. I'm looking at them. I wrote them down so I could tell you. Armani Privé, which is their couture line, but they also have Giorgio Armani, Emporio Armani, which are more like ready to wear lines. And then they also have, these sell at a much lower price, Armani Collezioni, Armani Exchange, and Armani Jeans. All of those that I mentioned starting from Emporio Armani, so Emporio Armani, Armani Collezioni, Armani Exchange, Armani Jeans, oh man, their value just tanks. First of all, those are actually more affordable. Again, affordable is subjective, but they are, they're more affordable than the Armani Privé, the high-end Armani line. They're way more affordable, especially Armani Exchange and Armani Jeans, like affordable. Um, retail and then they're also more mass produced so you can find them more often I would say when I go thrifting I always see Armani exchange always 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 they used to have stores do they still have stores I used to see actually Armani exchange stores and outlets but anyways for me they do not hold their resale value like Armani exchange men's jeans when I first started reselling I could get used, you guys, like 60 to 100 bucks. I know that's a wide range, but I really could get a lot. Now, oh man, I'm lucky if I can get like, for the men's jeans, I can get a little bit more, like 30 bucks, maybe 40, but I feel like 30 is really pushing it. And the women's stuff, I just don't even pick up because like I said, it's more mass produced. It's pretty affordable retail, um, the Armani Exchange, the... Armani jeans, Collezioni can do a little better if you can find unique pieces, and Emporio Armani, oh my gosh, I showed you guys, I did a whole video actually on an Emporio Armani suit that I found that I thought was fake because it had Japanese writing, but a lot of you guys said I should send it to the real real, I'm still going to send that to the real real, and I'll let you know whether it's fake or not, but I sent that to Thread Up to Sell, and I didn't realize like how low comps are for Emporio Armani. It's a really nice 100% wool two-piece suit, but I mean, for Emporio Armani, I'm luck I'll be lucky if I get maybe 100 bucks for that whole suit. I don't I think that might even be pushing it. So, if you find those more like ready to wear lines of Armani, just check comps cuz like I said, there's caveats to all of these. Sometimes some of these brands with the like more trendier pieces can still resell for quite a bit, but I feel like the more basic everyday pieces that are mass produced, not so. Okay, now this one I feel like might cause, uh, might cause a little bit of, um, I don't know, we'll just see. Let's talk about Coach. First of all, I feel like a lot of you are gonna be like, Nikki, Coach is not high end. Some of their stuff, you guys, can retail for three to 500 bucks, okay? We're not gonna call that affordable, are we? May, of course, it's not like super, super high-end like Chanel, but we're not going to call Coach affordable, are we? I don't know. Comment down below, do you think brand new retail Coach is affordable? Again, I feel like there's like blurred lines here because affordable is different to everyone. But I wanted to talk about it because Coach is very, very interesting. I specifically sell a lot of used Coach purses. A lot of the just basic Coach bags, think like black canvas, nothing leather, or like old school um, canvas purses, man, <laughs> those do not hold their retail value, resale value on the resale market at all. Like I remember buying one of those canvas bags and I'm pretty sure I paid $350 and reselling it, I think I got $40. They're just not as popular, of course, as the leather bags. This is why I say Coach is interesting because if you can find an older leather purse, especially the ones I think it's the ones that are like vintage that were made in New York. Those can resell, resell used for hundreds of dollars. People love those because they were made really good quality, really good leather. They last for years and years and years. Those you can make a lot of money. But some of the like just more mass produced canvas bags, I don't pick them up anymore because I almost can't give them away for free. Now, some of the more trendier uh, purses, even if they're older or newer, can do really well resell. That's why I wanted to talk about Coach because it's just really interesting. You'll never hear me say like, oh, I don't pick up Coach because I actually like reselling a lot of Coach. You just, 
for me, I always tell you guys, I don't tell you what to do in your business. I have to be selective, like the basic canvas material bags. I'm not going to do it. I don't care if they're like 10 bucks because, well, honestly, if they were 10 bucks, I could probably sell them for 30 or 40. But where the real money is for me reselling are the leather bags, the vintage older leather bags or the newer pieces that are trendy and sometimes the older bags. And when I say trendy, I mean a lot of people from what I've been able to sell really like the colorful coach, coach purses. Like I bought a pink, it was a bright pink coach purse from Goodwill for 30 bucks used and it wasn't leather. And that bag, so re, I resold it for 120 bucks, which was great. So I just, that's why I say Coach is really interesting. Let me know your thoughts on Coach down below. Do you pick it up? Do you not pick it up? Are you able to find it in your area? I'm able to find it a lot here in LA, but they mark it like way up. Like the canvas bags, they'll mark it 20, 30 bucks. The leather bags, unless you're lucky enough to find it at the bins, they'll mark it like 20, 40. I've even seen like the leather bags marked at 60 bucks here at my Goodwill. So I try to honestly buy them online. I'll like search on Facebook Marketplace. I'll look for like local pickup. And I've been able to find, I bought a lot of 10 leather coach bags from this woman here in LA for 120 bucks. That was a great steal. So I wanted to bring up coach because one, I feel like some of you are gonna be like, Nikki, that's not high end. I don't consider that affordable. Retail, I don't. Um, and two, it's just so interesting. They just have such a wide array of products. Some of them resell for crap and some of them that are unique or older and good quality can resell for quite a bit. Let me know your thoughts down below. Okay, now this, I wanted to include a brand that I feel like maybe a lot of you haven't heard of. The brand is Scala, S-C-A-L-A. -A. I, a dish, a, what? When will I start talking like a normal person? Mom brain is so real. I originally found this brand at the bins. I found, I cannot believe this. I still remember this vividly. Whenever I find something that's in pristine condition at the bins, I'm shocked. It was a 100% silk beaded gown. Like this looks like a gown that you wear to a ball, to a play. It was just beautiful. And it's backless and there's, well, it has a strappy back. So there's like straps of just silk going down the back crisscrossing. It is beautiful. I really want to keep this dress and I might because I've had it for two and a half years and it's not selling. So anyways, I looked up this brand and lo and behold, it's a boutique brand that you can find at like random boutiques across the country. It's not something that you would find in like a Nordstrom or a Bloomingdale's, but this brand is not super affordable. So their gowns, I'm looking at this boutique, this is just random boutique in Manhattan that carries it. Um, it's kind of an obscure brand. Like you can find it in bridal shops, a lot of bridal shops from what I've been able to find and like just boutiques. New retail, a lot of their dresses start at 300 and go up to 700 bucks. So when I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy this at the bins. I did pay to get it repaired. I took it to my tailor, she's amazing. I think she charged me like 15 bucks to uh, repair because some of the like silk, silk is really difficult to care for, was like ripping, so she fixed it for me. I have had this dress, you guys, for so long, and I cannot believe some of the sold comps on Poshmark. I feel like some people really undervalue their stuff. Some of the sold comps for silk dresses from Scala are like 20, 40, 30, 50 bucks. These dresses are so, I, I, I think they're beautiful, and a lot of them are 100% silk. They're really well made. It's just this gown that I had literally felt like it weighed two pounds because it was also beaded. Um, and I shouldn't say people undervalue, like your item is worth what someone will pay for it. So if people are only paying resale 40 bucks for the dress, that's what they're paying and that's what it's worth. So I shouldn't say people are undervaluing it. I just personally think the gowns are really beautiful and I wish that they would resell for more, but that's what this video is. Items that don't hold the resale value. So I'm just looking on this website, some of these dresses, I mean, some of them are a little tackalicious, like there's a two piece sequin set, but I, I love a good tacky vibe, you know? Who am I to judge? Yeah, so I'm looking at these gowns. The most affordable one I see is $350, and they go upwards of like seven, $800. They're known for their evening gowns, little black dresses. 
But if you look up sold comps on this brand on Poshmark and eBay, it is like, like I said, like 20 to 50 bucks. So <laughs> the retail value just nose dives. So I wanted to include that brand because I feel like I've never heard, and I told you guys, I watch a lot of resellers on YouTube. I've never heard anyone talk about that brand. If you have, let me know down below. And since finding that dress at the bins two years ago, I see this brand quite a bit at the thrift store and the bins, and I haven't picked it up because I still haven't sold that one dress that I have. I received a couple lowball offers for it on Poshmark, and I was like, absolutely not. But now that I've looked up comps recently, I'm like, maybe that was a fair offer. That's what they're selling for. I did send it to ThreadUp, and it has something, you guys, like 60 uh, favorites. So on ThreadUp, similar to like Poshmark where you can like, or eBay where you can watch, on ThreadUp you can do a favorite and it has like 60 favorites and I think I have it listed on on ThreadUp at like 180 and I didn't even set it at the max. I think ThreadUp was saying the max I could put it at was like $300 used. I don't always max things out but I'll let you know if it sells there. I've had it for so long. I have decided if it doesn't sell there, it's a size small, I'm just gonna keep it. I don't really like wearing backless things because I have huge breasts. I'm not saying that to brag or anything. I have my whole life. I honestly wish they were a little bit smaller, <laughs> but my breasts are pretty big. I don't go braless ever, never, never, never. You can think I'm a psychopath if you want. I am one of those women that sleeps in a bra. I just don't. I can't be having my, my boobs under my arms, you guys. I just feel gross. Like, I feel like I am the complete opposite of what most women feel. A lot of my friends are like, you're insane. As soon as I get in the door and my bra comes off from work, I'm like, oh my God, no, I cannot. I should try to like sleep in a like under underwire free bra though. I don't know if it's good to like be sleeping in an underwire bra, but I have my whole life, so tangent we're gonna stop there oh gosh hope i didn't flash you i tend to talk a lot in these videos hopefully you enjoyed i'll leave a link to my shirt down below it's lover and lovers and friends hopefully you enjoyed if you guys want a part four we will keep going but i wanted to do a more expensive brand that don't sell for me video i don't know if i'm gonna call this like high end because i feel like it's gonna trigger some of you and you're gonna be like coach isn't high end and I feel like high end is subjective, but maybe we'll call it more expensive brands. I don't know. But if you like these types of videos, we'll keep going. If you want a part four, let me know in the comments down below. You can check out my other videos. Right.